Okay, you got Big Daddy here, and I'm going to kind of try to walk you through some of these things. Uh, when we set up a system, what, what I try to do is set up a system with a, uh, a 20, I don't know, 20, whatever, 20 something plus LEDs on one, and then 10 on the other, and the opposite on, on the other. In other words, what I mean by that is this I've got systems set up with uh, two of these lights are on a dusk to dawn sensor. Sun goes down and the light starts coming on, just like that. Now, for instance, if you take that off and and uh, you kind of cover partially, cover just one little corner, you see how the little light on the right goes on and as the sun's going down, down, it gets brighter and brighter and brighter. Now, the, those are going to burn uh, 24, I mean, you know, every night sun goes down they're gonna come on and that's seven days a week 365 days a year now when you you know you, you you're gonna get all the wildlife at your feeders are gonna get used to the light now you cannot have these at ground level or two three feet off the ground or whatever they need to be eight ten twelve feet above ground shining down and out okay like from the sky now then when you got your blind you get in your stand go ahead and leave those on Bill you're going to leave those on now. This dusted on. It's dark. It's 10 o'clock at night. You've come in from deer feed, deer hunting. You done barbecued your steak, grilled up something, had a beer, whatever the case might be. You go with your buddy or your son or whoever. Go back out to the deer stand and watch what happens. You, you got cameras set out. Right, so you know the hogs are coming in 10 o'clock at night. So you get up in the stand at 9, 9.30, get settled in, relax a little bit. Now you got what Big Daddy calls a remote control. There you see it right there. Just like you got on the car. Now watch what happens. This is not a momentary. So I got guys that call me and say, well, Big Daddy, I... I got that and it didn't work and I said well where'd you get it well I went down to the academy and I bought one of them remote controls for the deer feeder those are momentary on period in other words if your deer feeder is set to run for six seconds that's all your lights going on for this is not this is a constant so watch what happens I'm gonna click it on Oh, buddy, you sit in your stand and you turn those on. Now, what do you got? Son, you might as well have turned on the floodlights. You can shoot them hogs 100 yards, 120 yards, 3 by 9 Leopold. You can even have a 3 by 9 Cheapapold, and you'll be able to see hogs under these lights. And again, as you look around the web and you look around at other people's hog lights, or the, hey, guess what? You can buy those with three. LEDs oh oh maybe six LEDs and then I got them guys come and say well I bought one of those and I was 100 yards away and I can't see nothing duh you figure it out there ain't enough light I'm 62 years old 61 actually I gotta have light under that feeder if I'm gonna shoot something under 100 yards away so now watch see turn it I turn that off, I, I go leave the stand. No, nope, leave those on, Bill. Those are running 24 7, seven days a week. All the time. The, the animal's getting used to the red light. I get back out to my stand three in the morning. Three in the morning, what I do? <laughs> wow! Turn them others back on. There, I saw some hogs under there. I need a little bit more light. I'm going to whack me some. Hey, you got Big Daddy here. We love you. We want your business. We want to know what we can do to get it. And that's all there is to it. Give me a holler.